to come to a safe place where we can all uh, gain confidence in open intelligence, be together as powerful people, invite everyone to come to see that it's possible as well, and to ask questions, to, to share our own experience, all of you, everyone in the training and open meetings, and, and to listen to that, to that reality, this reality that is available for all human beings whatsoever. <coughs> Open intelligence is it's amazing. I mean, it doesn't stop when you are afflicted. It doesn't stop when you're angry. It doesn't stop when you're sad or depressed. And it doesn't start when you're happy or blissful. It doesn't go anywhere. Open intelligence is inexhaustible, inexhaustible, effortlessly inexhaustible. So you can test it even right now in your own experience. Just stop thinking for a moment, briefest moment, what remains? A sense of alertness remains, a sense of stability, cognizance, the power to know the next thought, the power to know the next sensation. And also when you start thinking, for many moments, open intelligence is there. It didn't go anywhere. So this is the introduction to open intelligence, complete relief. This is the introduction complete relief to recognize that open intelligence is innate to us. It's built in. It's not separate from us. It's not some kind of state that we need to get to. <coughs> it's not separate from our mind, from our body. It's, it's within everyone. Everyone. And, and that uh, was a complete relief for me to recognize that I don't need to change anything about myself anymore. I don't need to change my thoughts and emotions, sensations, experiences. Here in the balance view, we call it data. Data. Just to, to make it very simple for everyone to communicate, data. Sensations, experiences, thoughts, emotions, people, places, things, everything. So whenever data arise, we rely on the power of open intelligence. We relax body and mind for instant. We instinctively recognize open intelligence. So whenever we remember, so if we remember just one time a day or one time a week, that's fine too. And what we see is that we, when we have um, negative emotions or negative data, that's fine too. We can recognize open intelligence. It doesn't mean that we do whatever we want to be because open intelligence is everything. When we recognize open intelligence, we see that we are, our wish is just to be of benefit to all, to all people, in all circumstances, all situations, that we are not the victims for our thoughts and emotions anymore. We are not surrendering to our thoughts and emotions. No one is on control, you see? So the difference is we are empowering to take responsibility for our data streams. I always want to be of benefit. And um, I, I thought it's, it, I will be of benefit when I'm an open person, compassionate person, and listening to others, supporting my family. So every, all these ideas that I have were great. You know, I lived my life, my life really positively, in a way. I changed, I replaced everything to positive. I was very skillful in that. But when I met this training, I was introduced to something beyond positive and negative, and neutral. So no need to, I don't need to change anything to positive in order to, to be of benefit anymore. That was a complete relief for me. And everything came up for me, all the afflictive states, all the negative emotions. Suddenly I recognized that I can just allow them to be as they are without the need to change the flow of, of data streams. And at the beginning it was a bit something to get familiar with. Because of course, it's, uh, we trained for so many years to replace, to avoid, to, to change our data, to indulge. In other words, to neutralize our data streams, to, to ignore our own powerful open intelligence. That's what we did. That's what I did for so many years. And then uh, allowing everything to be as it is was really empowering for me to see, and still is, to, to recognize all of my data and to take full responsibility for my actions, for my speech, for my mind for my qualities and activities, and to get familiar with myself 
in a different way, in a way that uh, includes always the benefit of all. And that's really easy to do. It's so simple to do. Because once we, once we instinctively recognize, it's, um, it's, um, it's, it's amazing, it's powerful, and it's not something that we need to work hard for that. It's right here available for us, for each one of us. And then we train that up. Even though we have some kind of question like, okay, why do we need to effort? Why do we need to train up? We, we keep it simple. You know, we keep it simple and we train it up. And we see, okay, it, it is effortless. It is in a, my own experience, it's very effortless. It's simple. It's simpler. So emphasizing open intelligence rather than emphasizing the data strength. Simple as that. And then in yourself, you will see the benefits. And you can come here and share that too. You will see the benefits of not being a victim anymore. Recognizing that you are not a victim to anything. That you have a complete choice for how you want to use your mind. Complete power and choice. And everything will be of most benefit. Working together with people here at the center, no one will look at you as a victim. Everyone will empower each other to be limitless. It works like that. This is the Four Mainstays lifestyle, the support we offer, all of us, everyone in the Balance Free Training. The support is uh, so generous and, and available for each person to recognize his own gifts and talents, strengths, to be of benefit to all. And, and when we come here to the center, we, we cannot ignore that. We see it in other people and we see it in ourselves too. We see that it's possible for us. So all the data about you know, money and how will I see my gifts and talents and how will I outshine data things about money, contributions. That will, for me, it was just a very natural process of getting confidence in what will be of most benefit to all. How to make decisions that will be of most benefit to all. And in this way to, to really take it moment by moment. You know, even if we don't see it now, if, it, if, it, if it's not so clear for us now, how will that come about? We, we focus on this moment. We take short moments of open intelligence. We, we come to open meetings. We listen. We listen to audios. You know, there's so many audios available for everyone, freely available, and we can download them for you to listen when you walk on the beach or when you go to sleep. That's what I did, watching videos, endless media available for everyone, and a trainer a trainer that's 24-7 available for you. And, 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 and this is where you consider with your trainer what would be most beneficial. You just see, okay, before I didn't ask myself for myself, didn't ask myself those questions, okay, I just jump into any relationship. You know, just thinking that, okay, I just want to have fun, I just want to enjoy, and nothing is wrong about that, so don't thank me. Yeah, it's... Um, it's fine, it's great, but, but when I was introduced to the Four Mainstays lifestyle, I was really empowered to see, okay, what would be of most benefit? How can I take responsibility for my actions? What do I want for myself? What is my commitment? How do I want to live my life? How do I want to live my life and what do I want to offer to the other person that will live my life too? So everything is taken care of, you see? With the Four Mainstays lifestyles, we see that we we're able to make decisions that will benefit us and other people around us, not just impulsively jumping into all kinds of data and being angry and just maybe throwing a plate on a person or saying something that you feel sorry for saying that. You know, and, and you can, if you did this kind of actions, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that you did, but you can also apologize and make a commitment not to go there anymore relying on open intelligence, aligning yourself with reality. And okay, be responsible there. Take responsibility for your words, for what you're saying. And if it's hard for you, take the full support. Take the advantage of the support. It's available, so it's, it's <coughs> your choice, up to you, right? It, this is the magic. The magic is, is open intelligence. It's not, um, it's your magic too. It's everyone's magic. It doesn't belong to anyone specific. Open intelligence is always present, always present. 
even if it's hard for us to think about it, that's great. No need to think about it. You know, short moments of openness, short moments of opening intelligence, inexhaustible intelligence. And listening to it again and again, you just see, you just instinctively see it in yourself. That's what I did. That's what everyone here did, doing, you know, taking responsibility, turning that up, and recognize it in the everyday life. 